Victoria, good to see you again. Let's start with Tesla. Boy, what a trade. What do you say? <laughs> I'm not touching it. I'm just watching the dumpster fire burn and roasting marshmallows. Look, there's a direct correlation between the Twitter deal and when Elon Musk started selling Tesla shares and when their stock started to plummet. He says he's done now, but is he really? I think there's potentially he's in a margin call and there could be further selling pressure. So the stock not only is it facing an uphill battle, it's blown through all the major supports. You got nothing retain it in about the 60s. So right now, not touching it. And, and you to have the, the slowdown 60s. happening but in China. The, 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 I know you're not you're know. talking about the charts, not the fundamentals, but a 21 times four Forward PE that doesn't get you a little excited? It, it doesn't because if demand is slowing, you're seeing it across the EVs and you have more competition, it's a little bit different what earnings look like going forward and what their power is going to be, especially with the reputational risk potentially they're facing with everything Elon Musk done this year. So is the Tesla Fuhrer and kind of the Tesla, I would say, Colt that helped drive the stock to a new high, is that suddenly dying off? And I'd say yes. Wow. Roasting marshmallows over the dumpster fire. <laughs> All right, speaking of dumpster fires, that was basic. You just described air travel these last five days. Maybe there's not a short-term play here. American Airlines, 13% short interest, down 11% this month. You're there in Texas. They're obviously huge at DFW. You say sell this name as well. You're not, you're not buying American. I'm not. If you want to touch a, a falling knife in airlines, go for Southwest today. I mean, they're the ones bearing the brunt of the storm. But if you look at the catalyst, American's just the weakest of the large U.S. carriers right now. They're down tens and tracked on their charts. But if you look at it, they're one of the only with negative free cash flow last quarter. They have some of the highest and oldest uh, pilots, so they're going to have higher uh, retirements. They're going to have a lot of pressure and pricing pressure. They don't have a negotiated deal going into next year, and pilots are certainly demanding more. Uh, and so I think they're the weakest of the U.S. carriers. If you're playing the, the China a reopening play united if you're playing the hey travel slowed down then then southwest is certainly the one most attractive today i just think they're the weakest pick of the u.s carriers right now so i'm not touching it even with short interest high all right let's see if we can get you something here nrg <laughs> energy this is one a little more esoteric for uh for people but it, it could it possibly pique your interest it does. It does. This one's a buy for me, and some of it's looking at the insider, tra uh, insider trades after the, the Vivant deal was announced, and you saw some solid insider buying. To me, that shows that management has confidence in this buy. I think the cross-selling is tremendous, the back-end technology that they bought, and their cash flow are great. I get this company is, is changing a little bit. It's trying to diversify the revenue streams. The subscription base is great for them versus some of the revenues that are a little more peak and valley. I love this deal for NRG. I think they're going to be able to pay off the debt that they're uh, taking on pretty quickly and then they're going to go back to their 50 50 capital expansion plan and return to shareholders they are committed to growing that dividend so for me and especially seeing the confidence management has that this deal will work on buying energy and there we have it and i brian <laughs> loves it we're just happy there's a stock in here that you'd like victoria we appreciate it very much today thank you <laughs>